All right, so what is up, everyone? It's your host Echo of Echo Do It here, and today is a Wednesday, and you know what time it is? It's time for the quick rundown of this week's SMC news for the third week of May. For the headline news, we're finally getting the pilot of Raven Nighthawk, which basically just completes the backlog of all the pilots. Like way back then for the older megas, with the exception of Doomlight's Tarantula. Now his skill is gonna be a lifesteal against pilots, and for his mecha expertise skill, it turns it turns out that it's gonna be like a camping enabling skill wherein you get like additional damage after every seconds of like not firing, which I don't think is really that good. I don't think it even fits Raven. But I'll let you guys judge for yourself, comment down below what you think about it and I'll show you the video all about like, all about him, all about him. If you want to skip, there are gonna be some timestamps down below. Alright, so up next we'll be getting the Andromeda rerun along with the Daddy Deacon and uh, I think this is like the axe wielding hot steel skin. Now considering that the Firestar's banner just released literally last week, this actually looks good. And on the teaser, they also revealed, like on the teaser upload that they did on Bilibili, they also revealed that Hurricane is going to be coming up next. I don't know how quick that's going to be since, yeah, I said earlier, Firestar just came out and they usually let the current one finish or like last until there's only like a week left before they release the next one. So this is kind of like a different, bolder move over here from NetEase. Which I welcome. It just means that people can get the skins that they've been longing for much earlier without the hassle of like having to wait and whatnot for like months and months on end. So yeah, this is a great move. I'm like excited about this. And for us free to play players or low spenders, that also means that we're getting the, the free tickets once again. So that's a total of four tickets. And if a hurricane's coming out, so that's like eight tickets in like a quick uh you know, period of time. I'm just I'm just gonna show you like a quick cut of Andromeda this time because um you guys have already seen this. Majority of you guys have already seen this and probably have already fought this uh variant of this skin anyway already. And then in terms of events, uh there's not much events. <laughs> yeah, there's not much events except for like, you know, the team up bonus which gives you a free chromatic ticket, some affinity bonus and here and there. But nothing too exciting. In terms of balance this week, nothing too much as well. But this could be a game changer when it comes to the uh, mechanics of TDM. So we still have some balance. Just not on mechas, pilots, or guns, or whatever you're thinking of. Instead, it's going to be like a game balance of sort. So instead of the TDM health pack giving like a flat 800 durability boost, no matter what mecha you're using... I could be wrong on that though. But yeah, when I tested it earlier, it was like a flat 800. It would now be computed from 300 flat durability plus a 20% of the mecha that you're using. So to like put it into perspective, let's compare the lowest and highest durability mecha on the roster right now. The lowest would have to be Andromeda. For her, she would be getting a total of 700 HP replenish with every med pack that she picks up. And for Hot Steel, Hot Steel would be getting a whopping 940 HP replenish with every health pack that he picks up. I think this is a welcome change. Nothing too drastic, but also you'll see the reflection of like the mecha that you're using so that it's more appropriately balanced. In terms of adjustments and optimizations, there's really nothing too exciting about it except for this one entry. And that would be that you can now finally enter the training grounds with your teammates. That's some, that's some next level quality of life shit. That's some next level quality of life shit. Because honestly, honestly, 
I've been like trying to do that back then, right? I've been like trying to do that with some friends. I've been trying to do that with Yui. And it was always, it was, it usually, if it was a busy time, okay, it would usually end in a headache wherein we always get sent alternating to like different instances. And, uh, you know, if it's like a downtime, it's like easy. You can like fully populate that area with like just you and your buddies. But if it's like a hot time, at least you now have this option to like team up and then head to the training grounds all together, fight 1v1, experiment with the mechas and show some new techniques here and there. So that's a super sweet. And then I guess uh, like that would be all for like this week's update. And uh, you can click off now. If not, then um, thank you for tuning in. And I think I'll be streaming tonight, although it's not going to be SMC and you're looking forward to that uh i try to keep it as informative as i can just you know with a little more freedom so um yeah i'll see you guys then this has been echo don't forget to like and subscribe to help your boy out and um peace out yo